Welcome to Sethcraft. You're here to watch the unboxing and assembly of the Otour Laser Master 3 LE. Let's go ahead and jump in to this assembly. I just pulled all the contents out of the box. So we have first got the USB cable. There is the power adapter to go from AC to DC. Here is the 10 watt laser. It's got an air assist hose and an attachment. It's got the Wi-Fi dongle and a USB and a USB storage device. Here is the power cord to go up to the laser from the rack system. Has several different bits of hardware and some sample material to work with in this little bag. There was an instruction booklet and some information on the laser. And then lastly, you've got your front panel, back panel, Z, and then the two side rails here as well. To begin the assembly, I have the front rail here facing the camera. And there is a hole right here on both sides that will allow this Allen wrench to go into. And there is already a bolt in there prepared to be screwed in. So now I just need to take the left and right rails and place this right here. And that will line up with that bolt. Stick your Allen wrench into that hole and just begin tightening this down. I flipped the front over because I need to get to these little screw holes down here. Put this in here and tighten that down and that will just keep this rail into position. The front and sides are now attached to one another. It's time to flip this over and we will install the Z axis. The Z has these rolling wheels in here and that's going to be slid onto the track. So. You're gonna find the side that has the cabling, and that's the side that's going to have the uh, stepper motor over here. You want the laser bracket to be facing towards the front, and so now I'm going to slide the Z axis here. Here we go. And now just like with the front, I'm going to be putting the rear on there. Flip this over once again to access the bottom so that those remaining two screws can be put into place. Now with the laser still upside down, I'm going to put the belts on. Just need to pull those out here. So we've got one on this side and we have one on this side over here as well. The belt goes from this wheel right here along the track and needs to be attached right up here. Now, if you first grab this and realize that there's no way you can get that around, then you can take your Allen key and you can loosen up this side right here. And that will give you the freedom to then get this pulley around that wheel. So I don't quite have it loose enough. I can go a bit more here. There we go, got that around that side. Now I noticed that the uh, screw just came out Need to get that reattached. And then I also need to make sure that the lower side of this belt goes into the groove right here. Now with the belts on, but not 100% tight, I wanna make sure that the X axis here is pushed to the limit screws. And then I can tighten down the back screw just enough to make sure this is tight. Seems good there. All right, good there as well. Now there's another screw on the side you have to tighten to lock this into position. Now that I have the frame assembled and the belts on, it's time to get the wiring done. So there is a long wire that goes from the front of the machine here, and there are actually um, spots for cable management or cable ties right here. And so that will be locked down here. So this cable right here is gonna have this much slack to move back to the back of the unit. Um, so what I need to do is plug up the X stepper motor, and that's gonna go right down in here. There we go. And now the cable that's gonna go over to the laser has the ability to clip in right here. And this is also gonna use some 
cable ties right in there to bring this up to the laser. The Wi-Fi adapter is installed over here on this side. I will most likely be using this entirely off of USB, but just for the sake of this install, let's check out what that looks like. Before operating the laser, you need to install the micro SD card, and that is found on this little USB adapter. So I'm going to take this and just insert it here into the micro SD card slot and let that snap into position. The last bit of assembly is to attach the laser. There is a thumb screw that is included and that just screws into the side of the laser. And now you can slide this over the track. And I'm going to just lock this into position using that thumb screw. And now the power cable for the laser is going to connect up here into the top. And that completes the basic assembly of the Otour Laser Master 3 LE. If you want to watch the next step in this series, then check out the links down below where I'm going to get the software installed and also run my first job here with this laser. I hope you've enjoyed this assembly of the Otour Laser Master 3 LE. There's not a lot of parts to assemble this and it is pretty straightforward. Stay tuned to the next video where I will be installing the software on the computer and also running my first project here with this laser. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.